chips are done. AMD where definitely chips are done. Uh, explicitly, uh, AMD is truly standing out to the disadvantage here. I mean, you don't need to look a lot farther than Intel, too. You take a gander at Intel, it's actually getting pulverized. Intel is even declared where they're truly emerging with rivalry to uh, NVIDIA. It's still, it's finished nothing for cost activity of the stock. So look, I believe we're figuring out right now. Yet the cost activity that we've seen throughout recent months in a significant number of the chip stocks in NVIDIA, etc. GPU has been considerably more about an exchange and it has been about essentials. And that is, again, you're seeing it sort of surrendered in the graph here continuously. So with AMD, the, uh, the possibility that it's done find it's on the right track to about this 160 level. I think the 160 level here in NVIDIA or uh, here in, uh, sorry, AMD is significant and that the break in AMD could truly take a portion of the other chip stocks alongside it. Clearly some profit due out. No doubt I'm totally a bear. We've seen a major inversion within AMD as of late for this situation. However, I will go completely out to the June 21st lapse. Not insane yet. I'm searching for a validated move to the drawback. I will purchase the 150 puts, selling the 140 puts. It's a full dollar ten wide put spread. It's finished for a dollar three hundred and thirty-five charge. This is one that uh better believe it. No inquiry with that income coming up. This is represent the deciding moment at that 160 handle yet chips as of now again. It's more about the diagram and less about the basics. AMD is a notable name between financial backers in the semiconductor business and is frequently contrasted with monsters like NVIDIA. As of late, the organization has been getting the notice of a totally different group. Enormous names on Money Road, including trading companies like Morgan Stanley, are beginning to get bullish on AMD stock, which implies they think this present time is a decent opportunity to purchase in this video. We will discuss why Money Road is turning bullish on AMD, not just that we'll likewise discuss AMD's freshest ball HSBC bank which accepts that the organization has areas of strength for and against NVIDIA. Yet before we do that, to stay aware of AMD's most recent updates and stay aware of the Securities Exchange's most recent news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post on numerous occasions day to day about the greatest changes and impetuses on the lookout. So click the follow button if you would rather not miss the most up-to-date market refreshes. Now back to the present video, um, you know, have these diagrams run up. A lot of that is the issue, Ben. Your considerations on the technicals? Definitely not. I don't know whether the chips, plural, are undeniably finished, yet I would contend that AMD is certainly uh, going under tension here, and it seems to be across different time periods. Uh, we are seeing uh, a remarkable inversion comparative with a portion of that potential gain force that we had been seeing. We should simply start most importantly in the hourly light outline. And I believe several different ways of taking a gander at this. I need to coordinate your consideration as a matter of some importance, nearly to the VTOP type design on the upper left corner of the screen there, since you don't see that all the time, right? We energized up to 227 and dismissed that level pretty quickly en route down here to as of late under 159, you can see areas of combination that have shaped at endlessly lower levels. So we can undoubtedly distinguish that we're moving lower, right since values framing lower 18167. I got somewhat granular here a moment prior. Stalling down since you can see we did as of late emerge from that area around 167. We're adjusting around 166, so you can without much of a stretch distinguish this, however, as only one bigger region. And afterward, you're taking a gander at 180, yet regardless of your point of view. A couple various perspectives on an exceptionally negative example right now, where you have effectively recognizable levels that would it be a good idea for us. We take them out on the manner in which upwell, then you can lay out that functioning presumption that we're moving lower. Laying out a steam lower is, as of now, not a legitimate one. It's fundamental, right? Toning it down would be ideal sort of approach towards exchanging. We should make a stride back. I need to show you one more outline and acquiring that V top that I just referenced, 227, the move lower we've seen to this end. I say that perhaps not all chips have given way here yet. It seems as though AMD has taken a gander at this, the new break of 170, most certainly not what the bulls needed to see right why, since, well, we were F-framing esteem increasingly high on this again day to day. Or please accept my apologies for H hour candle outline. So we've gone from a more moderate to somewhat of a more drawn out term graph here, went from taking a gander at this sell-off to where it puts us on the master plan, 
and you can see that it has switched a touch of a pattern regions that were being laid out to the potential gain are no longer uh, holding right so extreme to in any case. Sort of content, we're moving higher while you're taking out 170 and attempting to get back above it. Besides, let me show you where we are comparative with the 50 to multi-day moving normal. We've likewise taken out the 50, so I can't concur with where on the initial two. No doubt I'm going to uh, get in on this one right as far as searching for a further negativity, searching for the uh, shortcoming to proceed with a quick dismissal of 227. And you can see a portion of the selling that has followed better. Believe it, I'll give you the last say here where, since investors clearly individuals became so amped up for Lisa Su and AMD, and um, they saw the run that they'd seen for NVIDIA, and there was a ton of FOMO that was occurring, and individuals who committed to, of late, have been um, horrendously disheartened last contemplations on AMD. Sure, no doubt, most importantly, it makes me a little awkward that Ben is on a similar side of the exchange as me, yet, look, the side action in here sort of justifies itself. And you know, one thing to be aware of, truly, in a considerable lot of the significant tech stocks right now, as we begin to enter a more unpredictable period, we are in a real sense a few days eliminated from all-time highs and things like Microsoft Meta, and you must watch out for how you continue forward. Again, I emphasize tech has actually yet to try and go into any genuine side action, thus truly bouncing on this uh, AMD position, attempting to stretch out beyond what could be an invasion of side the previous year, has been an unimaginable one for AMD financial backers, as portions of the chip maker have shot up an amazing 130%, beating the Falk's semiconductor area records benefits of 57% overwhelmingly. Now HMD stock is up by roughly 18% year to date, and financial backers have been purchasing the stock with no end in sight, fully expecting a quick speed increase in the organization's development on account of the popularity of artificial intelligence chips, the most up-to-date bank to get on board with the AMD fad is HSBC, whose very bullish cost focus on the stock was viewed as an extraordinary support and a positive impetus for the stock this previous month, and Andane stock has been down 14%. And many credited this to different reasons, like the Fed deferring the loan fee cuts and the U.S.-China progressing chip war that kept AMD from acquainting new items with China. So as you'd expect, HSBC's bullish cost Target redesign could never have come at a superior time, sending the stock to 2% higher. Is this the start of a circle back for the chip creator? How about we figure out hi, everybody, and welcome back to Contribute Seat. The market is powerless against a much bigger pullback. To stall down for us, we have Kevin Gordon, Charles Schwab, Senior Speculation Specialist here with us. Kevin, walk us through the proposition here on a bigger pullback and what you're expecting here. Well, I believe it's truly in light of the fact that you realize we've gone through now a really broadened time frame with opinion running truly blistering. This truly begun back in kind of mid-November, um, when you had, you know, significant lists and most stocks in each file, truly bouncing back unequivocally off of that October 27th low. And afterward, you shot rapidly into outrageous confidence domain across a variety of feeling pointers. We track both on the attitudinal and the conduct side. So at whatever point you get and in that area, you are defenseless. Yet you sort of need a pessimistic impetus to push you that way, we would contend, presumably, as of now it's connected with yields. But at the same time, it's connected with what's happening as far as you probably are aware. Perhaps a repricing of taking care of strategy. So, you know, when you think about oversold insights like the quantity of stocks that are over a specific moving day, normal, whether it's the 50-day, whether it's the multi-day, you can sort of go down the rundown and see that we haven't yet likely gotten to that full.